the driveway was uh, becoming a little bit mushy here as you can see from all the dropped and squished pears so uh, I'm currently just picking it up but it occurred to me instead of picking them up I should probably be picking them straight off the tree Hello and welcome, I'm Christine an expat originally from South Africa I moved to Portugal in October of 21 and I started my journey in search of my forever farm in Portugal I saw over 30 properties and it took me about 6 months of searching but then I finally found the one this is my adventure as a solo expat on a farm in central Portugal with my two fur kids, Shakti and Shiva. I've never earned or lived on a farm, but I moved to Portugal in the hope of fulfilling a lifelong dream in finding an open space, subsistence farming, and a safer, better life. Now that we have found our farm, the second stage of our journey begins. I have to figure out farm life while renovating an agricultural structure to make it habitable and turn it into a comfortable home for me and my fur kids. Follow along our journey. This is Girl Meets Farm. Right, now let me show you what's happened to the vineyard. Due to this insane heat wave we've been getting, I've had a lot of grape loss and a lot of loss on the vines. So, can you guys see this? A lot of the, the grapes have literally just shriveled up and become raisins in the last week. With temperatures consistently hitting above 40 degrees and staying there, it was time to get some better shade and a way to cool off at the house. You know, as with everything I do in this place, it seems, it's kind of all tacked on and MacGyvered on, but it is working. Um, yeah, I might add some more to the front later on, but uh, to make everything meet up with this middle guy, because uh, there were no steel poles coming out from that end or this end, I've just cut two or cut a piece of wood and then stuck two pieces on either side and kind of <laughs> cable tied them in there <laughs> as a quick hack to just make it a little bit more even this guy had nowhere to go so he's literally cable tied onto the onto the pole over there i don't know how long that's gonna last but uh it's okay for now as everything is but the shade in here is so nice. It's already really making a, a difference here. And it feels a lot cooler inside here already. Doesn't look great, but I don't really care about that. It's really all about just getting some shade in there. And it's not just about this space either. The shade is also 
what I'm hoping to do is extend this down maybe possibly and uh, just provide extra shade for in the house because as the sun sets to the west this gets the full force of the sun over here so uh, anything to help protect with some extra shade I think is going to make a big difference but now we're going to try and stick the pool in here So the pear tree has been telling me that it's time to harvest some pears because the driveway is always filled with beautiful beautiful pears and I haven't gotten to them fast enough so I think today I need to go and harvest some of the pears but before I do that I don't really have like a lot of equipment to or baskets or anything to capture the fruit that I have I haven't found any that I like it like proper harvest boxes so in the interim I actually bought like what I think might actually be a laundry basket but I think I can repurpose that as a harvest box anyway it's very very similar let's get you off the way buddy it's very very similar but at the moment I've got the onions in there because I had nowhere else to put the onions because in there it's been they can fall through since I've cut off their their stems um so what i need to do is I need to make like a little manger a little basket or something for them that they can breathe properly um without spoiling without rotting but i don't really have much materials at the moment so what i was thinking of doing is repurposing the shade cloth like a little piece of the shade cloth and making like a little manger that they can just kind of sit possibly in that room and just air out a little bit more and then I can always make a plan some other time when I get to the shops again but I think the reason I need to do that is because the onions need to go somewhere breathable I need to repurpose this box that I've got and then yeah pick some pears <laughs> Right, so I think this just might work. We're currently in what used to be like a chicken coop, but also repurposed as like a drying place for all the vegetables and stuff. And I've made like a little makeshift shelf here. I put the shade cloth on. I'm now gonna just kind of loosely tie it with my cable ties and I'm running low. So I will definitely need to get some more of these before I, I use them for absolutely everything. So I'm just gonna kind of loosely tie the shade cloth to this little shelf that I made, pack the onions out and then let's see if that works. I think that just might work, let me show you. So that's kind of what I did, made a little shelf, packed the onions out here and hopefully they will get enough air to stay dry without spoiling. So the pears are literally all over and I can rake these up on a daily basis as you can see whenever I drive like I squish or if you even step on them they squish really easily especially after baking in the sun so I think it's time that we harvest some they're looking really good I think they're a good size they're not huge but uh, they could be good I haven't had anyone yet because I'm letting them ripen a little bit. The ones that I have picked thus far, I'm just going to let them ripen a little bit more. So let's see if we can pick some of the bigger guys and then see where we are. Okay. 
I'd loosely wash them, but this was the haul from today. I could probably just pick every single day. I can't get to them all and when I try and get to them, they just fall down as well and like burst on the ground. Um, I'm also not sure like when to pick them. Do you pick them when they're small? Some of them were quite small, but they looked really pretty and I wanted to save them before they crashed to the ground. I've read that they can keep ripening. There was actually a semi-ripe one. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, it was this one. Actually, I think he's rotting. Probably let him go. This one feels good. Let's try and eat that one. Overripe. Well, I guess then uh, it tastes quite sweet, but uh, it's either rotten on the inside or it's overripe. If you guys are pair experts, let me know what you think. I should probably pull them off earlier from the tree, or like I said, if you know what the problem is, let me know. <laughs> let me try another one. I don't know if it's ready yet, but it's not rotten on the inside. It kind of tastes like an apple. <laughs> I know that's weird, right? They're really good. <coughs> the way I know pears, they're meant to be like a lot riper and more fibrous. It's really good, but I don't know if it's underripe or if this is just what they taste like here. Let me know in the comments if you know about pears. <laughs> in the next video, I get a little bit better at picking pears as I get better tools to help me harvest. <laughs> An old friend makes a return to the farm and I share my surplus pears with someone you might know.